Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vegetable curry. Really tasty, of course, full of flavour. You don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy this recipe. If you just love your vegetables, you'll love this dinner that I'm going to show you. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media if you think they're going to enjoy this particular recipe. Let them know about it and I'd love to hear your comments. Do make a comment on the video and just say hello. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow so more people can get to hear about it. And if you hit that notification bell, it will just give you gentle reminders that the video is coming out. So I hope you enjoy the video. So we'll just cut our onion in half, peel the onion. Normally I don't say chop off both ends, but I'm just going to say chop off both ends this time because all you're going to do is just slide your knife three parts. So we've got nice big chunky bits of onion. So you're left with these nice big slices. Right, so I've got a nice homegrown broccoli here that a friend gave me. She grew it in her garden, so thank you. I'm just going to break this up. You want nice chunky bits. So just pull it apart. You don't even have to cut it. And again, I've got this lovely cauliflower that a friend grew in the garden. So I'm going to use some of this. So we'll just break this into the, to really sizable chunks, that kind of size. So we're just going to chop the pepper up. So just take out the white bits and take out your seeds. Right, so you can either dice your peppers up nice and small like this, or if you want nice chunky pieces, just get nice long strips. If you don't want them that big, then maybe just cut them in half. So you've got sizes like this. It's, it's, there's no right or wrong. You can do whatever size you want. So we want some sugar snap peas, and you simply just cut the end off of each, and then you can leave it whole like that, or you can cut it in half. I'm going to leave it whole. Now we're just going to cut the ends off the green beans, and what I tend to do is just get a few of them together like that and then just cut it all up at once and then turn it over and then just gather them up so that they're all starting off at the same size this end and then chop it again and I'd say cut these in half again so you've got roughly that size of green bean so with the carrots I've peeled them cut both ends off and I think the best way to do the carrots with a vegetable curry is round circles. But of course you can do whatever shape you like. This is just how I'm doing it today. And I've grown some homegrown um, peas in the garden. So obviously you can just buy some in the shop. But I'm just going to cut the end off of my peas. And pull the, I don't know what you call that, but you pull that bit. It makes it easier to open up. And then you simply separate the pods and your peas come out and that's you can't get any fresher than freshly grown peas in the garden I mean I love growing my own vegetables in the garden it is nice not everybody is as lucky to grow their own vegetables as I am but if you do get a chance it is great and if you feel once you've peeled that bit back if it's still a bit stiff just get the knife in there just to kind of start to separate it and then you can pull it apart but you can put whatever vegetables you like in this I'm just giving you some examples and then with the fresh tomatoes you just chop it up into tiny pieces and that's all your vegetables prepped ready for your vegetable curry right now I steam my vegetables um, you can fry them you can boil them you can do whatever way you like but I like to steam mine and I just have a pot of hot water one of these steamers you can buy electric ones if you wanted to and I'm going to cook the carrots first because they take a bit longer than the other vegetables so cook these for five minutes and then cook all the other vegetables in with that okay so I'm just going to put some ghee into the pot Now you can use normal butter or coconut oil or even olive oil it doesn't really matter all right once your ghee is cooked just put in some curry space curry space 
put in some curry paste then put one teaspoon of masala or whatever kind of curry powder you want you add your fresh tomatoes and then you add a tin of chopped tomatoes now there are so many different ways of making curry and this is just one way that I do sometimes and I will put up other videos in the future of different types of curry and different ways of making the sauce now you just let this cook for a good 10-15 minutes right so we're just going to add some coriander into here fresh coriander is lovely if not dried coriander is perfectly okay Now this has been cooking nicely and look at the colour. Look at the colour. <laughs> it's lovely. Be careful not to splash it like I did just now. Sauce is looking lovely. Now you could liquidise this, but personally I don't bother. I just leave it with the bits of chunky tomatoes in it. Right, so now you can add some cream to this if you wanted to. Now if you didn't want to do the cream, if you wanted to be doing the healthier option, you can just have two tins of tomato instead of one. But I'm going to indulge and have a bit of cream in mine. And it does change the colour. It just gives it that richness. And I usually turn the heat off as I add the cream. Doesn't that look lovely? Beautiful colour to your curry. Now while I'm doing this, I've got the hot water on for the rice so I'm cooking the rice just after I've added the cream that's when you cook your rice now into this recipe I've decided I'm going to put some chickpeas in now the, as I said earlier these are suggestions you could add spinach you could add mushrooms aubergines whatever your favorite vegetables are these are just my suggestions and then you want to add a teaspoon of brown sugar. Another thing you could add to this is lentils. Lentils would actually have been nice. Now I've just transferred this sauce into a bigger pot now because I'm going to add the vegetables. So we've got in here the peppers, the peas, the sugar snap peas, the green beans and the onions. Give it a little bit of a stir. Now I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. So we've got cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. Lots of lovely healthy vegetables for you. Right, so I'm just dishing up some rice. Today I've just done plain rice. But you can do any type of rice that you want. And now I'm just going to dish up our curry. As I said, you have your favourite vegetables. These are just ones that I've chose. So there we have a nice vegetable curry with rice. And in another video, I'll show you how to make some homemade naan bread that could go with that. Well, thank you for watching today's video on how to make a vegetable curry. That's one version that I've done today and there'll be many more that I'll be doing for you. So I hope you enjoyed this particular one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.